A Tennessee judge says jail officials used her name to let inmates wanted in several states go free, and she's demanding to know how that happened. It's the latest flare-up involving the Humphreys County Sheriff's Department, already under state and federal investigation for a police beating caught on camera. Channel 4's Dennis Ferrier now with the exclusive story. Humphreys County bail bondsman Marsha McCurson was bailing out a local man when she noticed two homeless men charged with vandalism talking with jailers. We noticed the jailers were having a conversation with uh, these two gentlemen and they were being instructed that they were allowed to sign out of jail. Uh, they were given directions to leave town and pointed right to the interstate. McCurson followed the two men and took pictures as they hiked to the interstate. Patrick Ponder and Andrew Zelezny. It took us five minutes to figure out the two men are wanted in four states for a variety of crimes. So who authorized their outright release? A jailer named Tammy Ross, shown here chatting with Sheriff Chris Davis, signed the release form per instructions of General Sessions Judge Haley Bradford Maples. The only problem, Judge Maples said she did not okay their release, did not agree to anything, in fact, she says she was never even asked about the two men. Um, I'm very bothered by this, and I have uh, requested that the uh, district attorney's office uh, follow up with the T Tennessee Bureau of Investigation and ask for uh, an independent investigation in this situation to determine if there's been any misconduct involved. I'm not happy about this situation. Uh, and from this point further, there won't be any more per Judge Bradley Maples. If I approve something, my signature will be on the, the document. Meanwhile, Zelezny and Ponder are now wanted in five states. They, of course, did not show up for their vandalism hearing today. To me, it's just going to invite more into this county. If you can come into our county, do as you wish, and for whatever reason, you know, don't worry about it. They want you out of town. You'll sign your own bond and go on to the next county or the next victim. And who knows, you know, where it's going to end. A call for a TBI investigation. Boy, does that have a familiar ring. The TBI is already up here. In fact, we saw them here today investigating for the Darren ring beating. More problems for the sheriff of Humphreys County. In Waverly, I'm Dennis Ferrier, Channel 4 News.